Alright, so yeah, this is the very beginning of the cycle. And, uh, this is one twin size comforter. Full twin size comforter, actually. The machine's actually doing decently well. I set it to extra heavy just so the machine could get, uh, what was it? Um, I think in total four, maybe six extra minutes of runtime to help just turn the thing over. Lock the thing with my hand for a second, see how it does. Alright, now they're just gonna help it out. There we go. Now, sometimes the machine needs a little help, but I mean, even this, I would call this clean, you know, even though it's not like circulating, even though it keeps getting pulled under and there's a recirculation pump of water going over it. I would still call this clean, especially it's going to be, um, God, um, hold on, let, let me set the spin back to a normal amount, uh, 58 plus 6, uh, sorry, 48, um, it's going to be probably 25, 28 minutes of wash agitation, there's maybe 22 actually, uh, 50. Uh, about 24 minutes of wash agitation and because I don't directly sleep on this like there, there's sheet, there are sheets in between my body and this I'd be fine with this uh, wash agitation you know at the very least everything is getting soaked with soap and water and being you know moved around and actually cleaned this is one of the few top loaders that uh, can actually take on a comforter. Now while I actually, while I'm at it, I thought I'd show up, overview the dryer too, let me uh, turn on the light. Uh, we got about four sheets in there, uh, all three of them twin sized, one of them I think queen sized. Maybe full sized, I don't remember. But, um, and three pillowcases. Um, dryer's taking it on very well. Uh, I have the Eco Dry on to act as an extra low heat. Uh, cycle time's about one hour, and it's a quarter way through it. Despite the uh, bulky items, this distinct filling pattern of just filling, you know, like a traditional uh, direct drive washer, or literally any machine before 2010, um, it does very good at reducing the ballooning that happens. I mean, this is, you know, if this were an LG, it would have been swirling it around and maybe turned it over once. And that's not a bash on LG. I like LG, but I don't think LG's comforter cycles or bulky bedding cycle is any good. I, 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 it's mediocre at best, in my opinion. 
I mean, this one has its flaws, too. I mean, it does that stagnant fill during a rinse. Which means the softener isn't evenly dispensed, so I don't even use the softener dispenser on the bulky item cycle. I generally actually run my softener through the bleach dispenser because I don't really use bleach, so I'm fine with that. And have the softener be dispensed before it allowing it to like mix in with the water before it touches the clothes. Which is what I like. Yeah, I mean, this isn't even a timer bleach thing, so I can do that. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing I like about LGs, um, is they're, or they used to, I don't think they do it anymore, at least not with their agitator washer. Um, a timed bleach, so you could put the bleach in and the washer would dispense it about 10 minutes, 15 minutes after the wash at the right time, so your soap wouldn't, you know, uh, be rendered ineffective. Which, is, that, that was a nice thing. Of course, if you're like me, you just wash the machine and dispense it when you deem it necessary. Again, I use like a lemon juice vinegar thing, and it, it does the job for my whites. I thought I would show off how the bulky item cycle does its rinse fill. Most cycles at this rate, at, at this point, would start, you know, filling with uh, water as the machine slows down. You know, and cycle, and begin cycling on and off the softener dispenser. Now, I've already put the uh, two cups the two capfuls of softener I use for my comforter in here because I, I only do this like once a month so I want it to remain soft but as we can see you know pipeline is on and even if this were off it would just shut off the hot water valve because that's how it works and coming to a stand still I'm gonna do right there So it waits till the drum comes to a solid stop to begin filling, which is a very interesting design. I, I it is really helpful actually, even though I'm not a fan of it. It does help reduce the ballooning of big bulky items such as this full twin size comforter. However, it would not evenly dispensed softener. Now I know it's going to be diluted and the entire thing is going to be uh, soaked with softener water, but that that's just one of my things. I have to have it, the softener evenly dispensed or evenly mixed before uh, dispersing to my clothing. And that right there would not help. So uh, yeah, 
and we still got 22 minutes left. Um, the damp light on the dryer has cycled on and off a couple of times. Um, I, it's gone out of its eco stage, even though eco dry is still on, it's now using more heat. But, you know, should finish relatively soon. And, uh, yeah, that, I think that wraps it all up.